Hi students, Mr. Bruin here. I've received a program from a student that has build errors in it. And I want to use this uh, opportunity to show you how to use the information in the output window, which we see down here, to uh, figure out what's wrong with your program. Okay, Part of being a computer program programmer is to know how to fix your programs when they have errors. So this is one of the Madlib programs that we've been working on and if I go ahead and press the F5 key, ask me if I want to build it and I say I do. And when I do I get this uh, build error. Okay, and Usually on this you just go ahead and say no. Um, you don't want to go ahead and run it. Uh, we're going to look at the output window now. It says here, tells you a little bit about when the build, uh, what, what program was being built built and what's the name of the file it's trying to run and then the next two lines are crucial they give you the error messages it says in here on this line uh, a, a string mammal uh, has been redefined is what it says okay um, so there's something wrong with the mammal string mammal uh, declaration variable and on the next line it also says uh, C declaration of mammal and it wants you to take a look at that and um, so I come up here and sure enough the very first uh, string that's been declared as a variable is called mammal um, but it said something about redeclaration it was redeclared well that makes me think that maybe there's something wrong um, with this mammal string and if I look through here sure enough I look down here on line 24 and the variable mammal has been declared again and you can't do that. You can't declare the same variable twice. So if I simply take this one out and get rid of it and then save my program and hit F5 to debug it, yes, build it, and it goes ahead and builds the program. And we know that because um, we look here, it exited with code 0, which is means that the, the function, the main function, ran and exited successfully. Um, and this program didn't really do much because all they did is declare a bunch of variables and nothing's been output. So if I come in here now and take some code uh, that I prepared ahead of time just to test this program and I put it in here at the end of the main function, basically I'm just prompting the user to input the name of a mammal and then I'm going to input whatever they write in the keyboard to that variable mammal, store it there, and then output it in a string like this, just say you entered such and such, okay? Um, then we'll see if we can actually get some output from this program. I'm saving it, hitting F5, building, and debugging. I get a window that opens and it asks me to input the name of a mammal. We'll just put in uh, tiger and it tell, then it outputs, well, you input tiger. I press any key to continue. Okay, the program works perfectly. So what I'm trying to show here is um, this is a fairly simple error uh, that you that you could easily discover if you had this kind of er uh, error um, simply by looking in the output window. Okay, the output window is there to give you meaningful information back, particularly about errors that you're having, and you need to use that information to decipher uh, what might be wrong with your program. I also want to say something else about this whole PDB file. Um, PDB files, this is just a warning. Some, some of your um, error messages are not true error messages. They don't stop the program from uh, running. They're just warnings. And a lot of these ones that we see in here about the kernel and all these different things, most of the time can be ignored. Okay. Um, if you're not sure what's wrong with your program, uh, you want to see if it'll even run at all, just go ahead and put some see out statements in it and just see if you can get it to write anything to the um, console application window like I just did just to test it. Okay, so that's a little bit more about debugging and how to, uh, how to solve problems that you might be having with your program.